还美国年轻人，美国美国家的。So、only, uh, this is very last day of the semester, November t h i r t i t h Last day of the semester, except for tomorrow, we have one more makeup class day. And so this morning, I sent out a message for week number fourteen. This is last week's message, and I believe it's quite appropriate because we're going to wrap up the class today and do some kind of question and answers tomorrow. So the last message of the week, uh, better say of the semester, is basically a teacher's uh, review. Of the design of this course from a different perspective, from a designer's perspective. So, uh, first of all, as I say, I have to appreciate all the hard work you have been doing throughout the semester. It's hard work. Um, first of all, inside the classroom and then outside the classroom. And this is the course CISG 114, Section 112 Technology and Light. And today is day number 29 of the semester. We have 30 days in this particular semesters together, and I believe many of you have already achieved high in this class, and I expect a number of eights more than uh, the previous semester. Well, so at the end of the semester, I need to provide a brief course summary in terms of the design of why you're doing what you're doing. So, and then this summary is going to be followed by your filling in the student feedback questionnaire. That is the official one provided by the school and which is accessible through your student web link. All right. So let's take a look at the design. When we talk about primary teaching and learning, this is what I have in mind. First of all, I need to include the expected learning outcomes. All right. Um, there is no rigorous rule of how many of those outcomes we should instill in the students. And if you look at the course syllabus, we have six course intended learning outcomes. And when you do the learning contract one, two, and three, now we skip two because we include two in three. You can see how many of those course intended learning outcomes you have actually attempted. All right, but all it's based on the three important course learning objectives of this course. We have three specific course learning objectives. You can review it, and you got very familiar with this. And when we talk about course learning objective, course intended learning outcomes, actually, what we are doing as teachers, I expect you have to perform some activities, which is called learning activities, so that you can really get hold of what we expect you to learn, uh, the specific competency. Uh, for example, I, if I expect you to know how to do information um, literacy or competency, you have to have the experience of looking up materials, uh, reading sources, selecting sources, and uh, discussions with your learning partner. And these are activity we want you to experience. So part of these is based on experience learning. And then you need to know how to listen to the feedback of your learning partner, and in the process of doing that, you create a social learning environment within the material with your learning partner. Well, as a teacher, we cannot, at in this particular G course, design what you need to study, just like in the major course. So we provide a number of contents for you to choose. And the student must be informed of the freedom to choose to learn what they're interested in in this course. So, when planning, teaching, and learning is important to anticipate the needs of the student, what kind of things we're interested in, and so we need to include a number of resources in YouTube uh, videos which can help capture attention. So, I have to make detailed part of each lesson in terms of before class, during class. After class and end of the class to make sure that in case you lose any point of contact, you come back to that. That in the portals there to tell you what you're supposed to do in the context of journaling, in the context of discussions, in the context of preparing for your report, in the context of writing for your blog. And so, what is being taught is very important. But you're not supposed to be a talk to learn student. You have to. Learn how to be a learner than student. What is being taught is, as a teacher, I concentrate on focusing on the key concepts. So I have to tell you 
the four important modules that we have to complete at the very beginning of the semester using the first four weeks. And then the different core concepts here that we have to use. But the interesting thing about those courses, you are learning how to use Moodle alongside with learning the web technology. So you use the web technology before you realize what you're doing. So instead of telling you the details, which is very much characteristic of major courses, I skip the details and make fundamental points clear and explicit as much as I could. Uh, this is carried through the teacher's message in each week. If you look at the teacher's message of the semester, this is the 14th teacher's message. So it's a reminder. As a person who, who wants to facilitate your learning, I'm providing a reminder instead of telling you this is what you need to do, what you need to submit. Only submission is informed three times and collect three times of the semester, actually two times now. So I should select content which student can perceive as relevant and so power as relevant. So uh, making it clear that so empowered is reference mostly the work of a student, particularly from the perspective of how you construct your e-portfolio and what you're going to put in and your what you have to learn in the semester. So, as a teacher, what is taught to take into account students need to develop the ability to learn for themselves. Self-regulated learning ability can be nurtured. Uh, if we provide enough guidelines and you do have through student-centered approaches to teaching what is meant by that, we we meta what the student does instead of what the teacher does. Okay, the teacher may provide ample opportunities to students to try things out, like you will learn to learn activities, and also with your in-class participations, and also with your blogs in an e-portfolio to reflect and to learn again. Okay, to unlearn it and learn again actually. So as a teacher, it's important that I'm the means exposing my student to conflicting theories is very important. Conflicting theories such as how do you transition from a talk to learn student to learn to learn student when in fact it's so much easier if the teacher tells you everything. You just dictate what the teacher tells you in the test. But that is not effective and not an effective way to help students to go on the own. So the fact you thought about the confidence in the tree, I'm here to learn and you are here to tell me what to learn and you should tell me everything. But you don't seem to tell me anything, you ask me to dig it out on my own. And so it's in the conference, in the classroom. Have you ever thought about this? And by doing that, I hope that you can develop some kind of sophisticated beliefs on your own that you can make it. It's not the teacher who's making you take, it's you who can make it. Uh, uh, and then facilitate the development of important graduate capabilities. All right? So these are very important for your subsequent years. I know that two speakers, and actually three speakers today, don't worry, I need the time. And I'm going to finish in five minutes. So the next question is, after what is taught, is how it is taught. Uh, the way that you have observed me during throughout the semester is my belief that if I have to be an effective teacher, relationship with students are very important. That's the meaning behind creating a positive learning environment. I cannot scare you to death. I have to be here and courage you, but I have to back you to do something, nag you to do something. So it's my belief that a vital constituent of effective teaching is interactions in class in the context of I cannot make it for you, but how are you going to make it for the whole class? And I think Rachel, uh, no, um, Ariel, uh, um, uh, Haley has been doing that for the whole class, except for the boys who do it only towards the end, all right? The ladies will go first. It's my belief that if I teach a teacher, use a variety of teaching methods and assessment methods uh, to help you to gauge on what you are supposed to learn and what you have done. Uh, if we look at the way I create your learning contract, um, they are just four, three, two, one. And one means beginning, two means developing, three means accomplishment, four means excellent. So you know that I'm not discriminating on you, on the quality of the work you produce, but I'm just giving you a reminder. Based on the rubrics, you know where you are. So it's very important in the assessment method. This is assessment for learning, not assessment of learning. You, you've got a lot of assessment of learning before. The teacher will give you a grade based on the work. But I'm not giving you a grade. I'm just helping you to know where you are so that you can be on the wall and 
do set the criteria here in the region, you're already there. So the intended learning outcome is a guideline actually based on the latest uh, notice from the academic uh, office of Vice Rector. We need to elaborate a lot more on the intended learning outcome study next year. So if you ask the student to join this class next year, I'm doing it a little bit different. Uh, my focus is more on the CILO. Okay, this semester is more on process. But process has been based on the CILO, but this semester is very loose. Uh, it's a little bit different. All right. So motivating students is different. It's convenient. It's, co it's convenient that as an effective teacher, I have to accept the responsibility to motivate you to do whatever you want or you have to do. And that's why you know the every table explain to each one of you, no matter how many times you ask me the same question, repeat it, repeat it until you understand it. All right. So this is uh, this is something that a lot of teachers does not do not like because. You have to say something many, many times, and you've got to have a lot of patience to do it. And teachers use different strategies to motivate students, such as the spring enthusiasm, and a variety of active learning approaches, making classes enjoyable by giving you some sweets, uh, using relevant well interesting material like YouTube video, and of course, praise you when you when you meet the high standard expectations. So development as a teacher, I have to help uh, support team myself too, uh, particularly in the university. Uh, and when you talk something like this to your colleague, your colleague will say, you're crazy. Well, we use one more paper. It's much more easier than you just have to do things like this. Unfortunately, we have a new leadership now who understand that. To improve teaching is necessary to get a feedback from others, including students. And that's why my video is there. Um, to help my colleagues to take a look at, my students take a look at, and I just put it on YouTube, free of charge, so much better. Uh, people understand the why yet. And of course, that's the end of my uh, uh, helping um, and sharing. And if you still have some more comments, go to Wingdom 14, that's QA online, which is set up here for a week. And again, now we're going to invite you to spend uh, 20 minutes. Uh, after the two or three speakers to complete the student feedback questionnaire, which is very important. You cannot do it tomorrow. You have to do it before the end of the day if you have not done it, okay? So may I invite September first, uh, Kami the second. Who is the third one? Oh, Regina is the third. So may I just pass the time to you first, okay? Sita, our first speaker. You need to use your... Uh, okay, that's good enough. All right, we have Sita for the speech of the semester. Different kinds of assignment. 
for example, journal, digital, sorry, making our own PPT proposal and blogs. And although the workflow is really heavy in this class, still I have learned a lot of things. I think this is a good experience for us year one students because it is a good chance for us to, to retain different kinds of assignment and get used of it. So I think we cannot get this experience in, in, other, in other courses. And so what have I actually really learned in this course? I think in this course, instead of really learning some web and technology, the knowledge of web technology, I think we are more likely learning how to really learn. Because the first day of the class, the professor has told us that this course is helping us to change from a talk to learn students to a learn to learn students. And till now, we have learned a lot of skills to try to become a learn to learn students. And these days, I start to think that all the things that professor do to us is really useful. Because last week, I'm doing other subjects project, and when I was reading the book, I sorry, and when I was reading the book, I start to think, how can I get to this point by thinking a lot of questions, and I start, and I finally understand that choosing your own topic and think about the questions by yourself is actually helping you to find the most suitable way for you to understand that topic. And I think it really works. And besides from the knowledge from the class, class that professor taught us, I've also learned a good how to present a good presentation from our classmates. Because some of our classmates always present us some good presentation um, to us during the class lesson. And good group work skills us a lot of our uh, assignment, we need to cooperate with my teammates, yes. And I really want to say thank you to them, Alexa, Tommy, and Virginia. And as all of our classmates have mentioned that we actually cannot finish all the assignment without our teammates and partner. And communication skills, and also I think the most important part is the writing skills. Because we always need to type or write a long paragraph in a short period of time. And I think my writing skills or typing skills really improved in this lesson. And for learning contract one, I've chosen digital defy as my topic. Before we talk about this topic, actually I didn't really notice that digital gap can lead to the unfair in knowledge. I'm glad that there are a lot of community are helping these boys to learn the new technology nowadays. I think that people should focus more on this topic to promote the technology and increase the whole society's living quality. And for learning contract free, our group has chosen how to set up our own business on SNS. Through the assignment, I have discovered that SNS can really help us to set up our own business and it's really easy. And at the same time, I am amazed by the technology nowadays. <laughs> it can do so many things. And also appreciate the creative of the creativeness of the shop owners that they can think of a lot of different ways on different kinds of SNS to promote their own shop. Earning money is hard, but by using right technology, everything become more easy, easier. And now let's watch a video. It shows us how technology has changed our world. Here I am, just a lonely Cheeto on a hot summer's day. What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to eat you! No, no, not again! Not if I stop! Ah. 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 One more! Ah. Mario, you saved me!
block here. And we can see that how technology has changed our world this re recently these years. And first, technology has killed the greeting card. We are no longer paying postage to send our birthday cards. We will, instead, we will send an e-card, text, or email. And secondly, how we share. We are no longer using the traditional rules of sharing information. Social network now allow us to sh share pretty much thing anywhere, anytime, any place. And how we communicate. Gone are the days of picking up the phones or heading over to someone's house to chat. Smartphone and the internet have replaced the traditional chat with the virtual world. <coughs> so at the end of my speech, I want to say thank you first to my classmates. Thank you for uh, staying here in this course and especially my teammates, again, Romy, Alexa, and Christian. And actually, I want to especially thank you, say thank you to two classmates. That's Ariel and Haley. Thank you for always presenting us, showing us what a good presentation is, and I really learned a lot from both of you. And, yeah. and last but not least, say thank you to our professor. Well, thank you for setting up, setting up this course and teaching us so many things. Thank you, and this is the end of our speech. Thank you, Sita. So the next speaker is uh, Kami. Do we need some help? Let's see. You have a USB?
an opportunity to attract me at the first year of my university life. And the third one is communication skills. Through the, the assignment, I can work with other students and share our ideas. This is a good opportunity to train my communication skills. Uh, also, because of this course, I make some friends such as my teammates and me and Hope. And the last one is speaking skill. I think this is the most important skill which I have learned in this course because I want to improve my speaking skill. Fortunately, there are many chances to speak here. And finally, I want to thank our professor and classmates, teammates, and I hope I can see you in the same class in the next semester. Thank you, Xiaomi, for making a very soft but sweet and important speech. Now it's Regine. Thank you, Regine. Good job. 
this and e this, e, e business. And we look up some websites such as Facebook and some software on the, our, uh, our phone. So this is what I learned about the information technology. I think they are really helpful. Oh, I uh, have one point. Because of, I really know the information security and I know how to be more secure when I see the information. So once I, my phone was stolen, <laughs> I know how to protect myself and I how, how know how to how to change my password and uh, because the the thief sends the I message to me every day because I, my iPhone was stolen by him. So after learning this course, I know how to protect myself from being cheated by him. So I think it's really helpful for me personally. It's a very excellent. It shows how important this class is. Yes, yes, I'm telling the truth. Um, the second part is important education, and I think that this course is real. It means it tells us how to teach and how to learn in the first. 21st century, it use, uh, some, introduce some interesting concepts like the increment learning, the problem based learning, and e learning, and then us, again, us open learning. And it's kind of like giving us a key that can allow us to open the door to a more beautiful and a wider learning place. And it should only make see the world from a very different angle, and it provides us uh, more possibilities in the future. Yeah. And so what we actually in this course. And first of all, of course we read lots of learning, do a lot of learning contracts. We really do three learning contracts, three or oh, two learning contracts, I misunderstood. Uh, it's uh, individual and peer based and also team based. And uh, and when there's uh, how to cooperate and how to communicate in this learning contracts. And um, most importantly, I, I don't know how to uh, I get inspired by this learning contract. They're inspired by the contract themselves and also by the teammates, my partner. And they have some really brilliant ideas and maybe they just think more and it's different on the topic we have chosen. And the third is about the journal, blog, and wiki. This practice our writing skills. And uh, as you say, it's a little bit heavy, and, but it's really important because writing is very crucial for our further academic performance. So I think, it, I think it's really lucky for me to choose this class in the first year. And it's do a very good preparation. It helped me to do a very good preparation for my further learning. So. Again, thank you very much. And this are the things we have right. It's a blog and this is a journal. It's a team online cooperation wiki. I really like this page. And we also do lots of class presentations. It's practice our speaking skills. And also because I have to do the reports. So um, we have to better manage our time to do a uh, reports in class. So it tell me how to teach me how to keep track of our project process and to teach us lots of practical skills. So the last day I want to uh, share some of my reflections in this class with you. And the most important thing in this class use the real life tell told, told me to use the real life to learn because there are some really details from the real life and from our surroundings. So if we take care of our life and we can learn more just not not only from textbook but the life is a really very Vivid book and need us to pay attention to, and we can learn much from this. And also, the after that, and the, actually at the same time, we should really put um, the knowledge to use in real life. And this, that, that both the two parts.
arts together can make our learning and can make our life more com uh, of, uh, complete. And so it can shape us to become a better person. And so there's this question. And after learning this class for uh, the whole semester, I gave a lot and I also think a lot on this topic. But uh, as you can, uh, I used to be a very uh, passive learner. I, I, have to, I have to ask the teacher what I should do, and I don't know how to keep, contract, uh, keep track of my learning process. And now I'm changing to be a learner student. I'm not to say that I am a learner student now, but I think I'm just beginning to change. And I'll, of course, I will face lots of problems and questions. And so, based on this, I have. I, I still wonder uh, how to learn and what to learn and to uh, make my learning more efficient and more uh, more more close to closer to real life. Um, and there, based on this, uh, I have already have another two questions: is, um, how learning benefits individual and how does learning benefit the community? And that's why that's. So there comes the last question, and very important but very crucial um, and original question is why we need to, uh, why we are learning, and basically for me it is to become a better person. So based on this reason, I think I need really to learn from the real life and also learn from my peers and my classmates, just like you guys, and also I learn, I need to learn from. Um, the experience and also so and this class enable us enable me to use the technology and the internet to learn more. So I'm really glad to meet you in this my very fresh year and I'm really glad to be to choose it, to choose this class and I think it's a very useful and helpful class to achieve uh, to help me to uh, um, to realize what I should learn and how I could to be a better student, I think it is really helpful and so very, thank you very much. We thank you, Regina, for sharing with us as the final speaker of this class in this semester. Now, may I invite you to take um, 20 to 30 minutes time to go to your student web and complete the student feedback questionnaire, which is According to the advice of the Vice Rector in Academic Affairs, each teacher should single out at least 30 minutes in the very last class of the semester to give students time to go back to your student web, to go to the table where this course is one of the course in your registered courses of this semester. And next to the table, there is a link called Evaluate Now. So click on the Evaluate Now link and complete the, uh, the questionnaire or student feedback questionnaire, which is very much the same as the end of semester course survey. I use the same set of questions to create this one. So now would you please take 20 to 30 minutes time to do this as an important step to wrap up this course, because I need your feedback and the school also needs your feedback to improve on this course. Yeah. You can see a lot of changes in this course next next year, in 2016, 2017. Now, particularly, you can see how, uh, if, as far as what I'm doing now, each of the six course intended learning outcomes is being developed into different uh, teaching and learning activities next year. But your feedback this semester is very important. So, as I said in the very last message. Your feedback is highly appreciated. I'm just an imperfect, and as a teacher of inadequacies, so I need your support to help me learn to become much better and prepare for the next class. Okay? All right. So let's. This official one is the one you need to go to the student web of the University of Macau, where you can check the score of our courses 
not this one, not the one in the Buddha environment. The one in the Buddha environment was closed last week, okay? But the one that you are supposed to do is going to be closed by the end of the day, all okay? right? It's from the student information web, okay? From register, okay? You go to that student information web register, computer. It's there. Actually, we have one more speaker, Tom. I'm sorry, but allow us to finish the questionnaire first, all right? So, finish the question. Because tomorrow we still have one more to be done class in the Because we need to make sure everybody finish the questionnaire before the end of today. And in this particular last class, <laughs> I will take attendance for this class. In tomorrow's makeup class, I will not take attendance because it's really up to individual students to attend. So, but I will definitely be here, and I hope you will be here too. I got some surprises for you. Maria, thank you. Our link is here. Thank you. Oh, he is not here today. Andy, thank you. Daryl is here. The link is here. Wong is here, Haley is here, uh, Rico is not here today, Kesley is here, Sita is here, Kami is here, Ariel is not here today, Rene is here today, Kenneth is here today, thank you, Abir, thank you, uh, and then Popo, Popo is not here today, okay, uh, Hector is here, Eric is here, Regina is here, thank you very much. It's good to have you here in this semester. Well, this is one of the, the best classes I ever have. Yeah. Can you find the link? Okay, thank you. If I if you cannot find a link, just go to the long old student information web where you discover which course you have already registered. And they do a wonderful table there. This is something that's taken 10 years for this university to get to. But in other universities, they've done it 15 years ago. That's what they're going to do. Yes? It's very hard to do. It's very hard to do. Mm -hmm. But one thing that is very important is uh, because you have to show me where the gender is current in order to open a high school. So somehow, uh, I believe one of the yeah, I believe one of these journals that you indicate when you come to one is also the good here, right? So what you can do is you just like you put it here and put it on the table. So I can see it in my video and try to do it. It's very simple. Thank you very much for doing a good job in your e portfolio. Spend time and make sure you want to continue to finish this course to go Mahara before you during the holiday. It will be something great for you. Alright? You're picking up a lot of 21st century competence. Excuse me for me.
Now, I do not have a lot of copies for this, but I believe this is something very valuable to you. Uh, I'm going to give Katie one copy, and if they are interested, you can make photocopy for them. It's a very useful piece of material. Which is based on this workshop here, uh, done by professors from Hong Kong University. Okay? It's about evidence of students' work in the context of e-portfolio. Anyone who cannot find a link to do the student feedback part student, that's a Q, they call it.
Good time to break a cheap song when all time.
Okay, um, I think we are going to close today um, until tomorrow, which is the very last day of the semester, the makeup class day. Let me announce tomorrow we have one small speaker, which is Tom, is going to make the speech of the semester. So please come back to support Tom. All right, I will bring all of you some drinks tomorrow, um, including some snacks. That's a celebrations party. And I'm also going to give you an important message tomorrow. All right. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for coming back to the CISG 114 session one, day number 29 of the semester. See you tomorrow. Thank you.